everybody, it's Tom from PC Gamer here at PAX West with Jordan and Mike of Hairbrain Schemes, creators of Battletech. How's it going, guys? Uh, it's going been great. awesome, yeah. Good. So, for just for those who don't know, what is Battletech? Um, yeah, well, Battletech is a, started as a board game 33 years ago. He made it. <laughs> An embarrassingly long time ago. Uh, and it's been uh, almost a dozen video games over the years with Mech Warrior series and Mech Commander and Mech Assault uh, over the years. And Battletech is a PC game that returns kind of to the roots. Uh, it's a turn-based tactical game. Uh, only now very modern one, uh, and so it, it's much more accessible, but yet has all the depth of that of that very simulation-heavy game. Cool, and you guys are making it playable here at PAX West, uh, which is very exciting, but why show it so early? Because you've got these super early alpha signs everywhere. Why did you guys make the decision to, to put it in people's hands so early on in the process? Uh, well, you know, for one thing, uh, it's always been a very open development process for us. Uh, we kickstarted Battletech just like we kickstarted our last several projects with Shadowrun and Golem Arcana. Uh, so we wanted to be able to start getting it out there. You know, we put this video up to our backers uh, the night before Gen Con, which is where we first unveiled this demo, uh, so that our backers could get a first look at the game. And then we're just trying to socialize it and get it out there and get feedback and. Uh, you know, hopefully get people excited that maybe not have even not necessarily heard about Battletech before, so. Cool, and it is super early, but it's also very playable right now and very fun. So what, what can we expect from a more finished version of the game? What can we expect to see added to it as the development continues? Well, right now what we're showing is about 70% of what the core combat model is. Um, so, you know, we have all the kind of range combat, but we don't have uh, melee and death from above and charging which are things that have never been done in a Battletech or Mech Warrior computer game before. Uh, so those aren't in yet, uh, but they are at the office and they look awesome. <laughs> um, so you, uh, you'll see a lot of UI and things like that, which will need to be improved. And, and there's some bugs like guys walking off the edge of cliffs and stuff like that, which won't be there. But this represents the kind of, like I say, about 70% of the core combat. Around that now comes a very, very in-depth campaign system. Um, and a whole economic, mercenary economic sim, um, because winning on the battlefield in this game is, uh, the campaign game is only part of the battle, right? Because you gotta, you know, you're, you gotta make money. You're a merc. And so when you take damage, that costs money to fix. When your mech warriors get hurt, they, they you know, you, you were growing their skill trees, you were training them. They take, hard, they're hard to replace. So all of those are the kind of things, that's where we are gonna spend the next year, is building all of that campaign around this core combat engine. What about things like visuals? Is what we're seeing pretty close to what the game is going to look like visually as well? Uh, I, I'd say also probably 70% there or so. Uh, we've got a lot of cool new stuff that uh, our tech art team is working on as far as upgrading our lighting system. Uh, and we're going to have a lot more giant stompy robots in the game uh, at launch. So that'll be really cool too. That seems mandatory, I think. I, I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, a variety of uh, planets, uh, different environments and weather situations, time of day uh, situations, that sort of thing. Cool, and when can we expect to get our hands on Battletech if we're not at PAX West? Well, uh, we actually just reopened our digital reward tiers uh, that were open during the Kickstarter. They're available at battletechgame.com. Uh, and so you can get in at the $50 level, gets you access to our uh, Kickstarter beta, which is going to be this winter sometime. So that's the first time that we expect to be able to release a build online for people to play. Uh, that'll be combat, uh, multiplayer as well as single player, uh, combat game, and then the full game, we're looking at a mid next year launch. Yeah, about, about a year from now will be the full one with the big campaign and everything. Cool, well thanks very much for talking with me and stay tuned at PCGamer.com for more from PAX West.